everyone. Welcome back to Bloom Home and Garden. Thanks so much for stopping by today. We are in the garden and we are going to be doing one of my favorite things and that is harvesting some herbs. When I planted these guys here last spring, they were just little bitty clumps that I had saved from last year. It is really time to cut them back and harvest them and I'm going to show you my favorite way and that is to make an herbal soup ring and that soup ring depending on the herbs that we use we can use it for many other things so stay tuned for that if you are new here please take a moment to subscribe we'd love to have you come along and not miss any of the content and ring that notification bell so you are the first to know when I post a video let's get started so we're just going to go ahead and start clipping our herbs and what I'm showing you here is we're not going to go too long, just about six to eight inches. If you go too long, it makes them a little harder to bend and twist as you'll see coming up in the video. Now the bigger your ring, the longer you can cut your stems, but for the soup rings in particular, you're just going to want them a little shorter. And if your herbs have started to go to seed or flower on top, you can go ahead and clip them off. It won't hurt them at all for the soup rings. And if you're making other rings, then you can go ahead and leave the flowers on for more decoration. Now you can use a variety of herbs as you can see we have a whole lot of herbs here and at this time this happens to be the end of the season but you can make these any time of the year I'm using the fall because that's when you really start making a lot of soup and as I said you can use just a whole variety of herbs I have some basil here we also have some thyme and rosemary along with some parsley and I have to tell you that rosemary is my favorite herbs comment down below what is your favorite herb to grow now this is eucalyptus and we are going to be using this not in a soup ring but in a spa ring and I'll tell you more about them as we go along Now I've gathered all my herbs and I have them laid out in the way that I want to assemble them and we are going to start assembling them. This is really easy. We're just going to clean up our herbs and make sure that we have any unsightly leaves or dead spots pulled off. And then um, this is what I'm talking about here and how this is kind of woody here and that's going to make it hard to bend. So we're just going to take that off and just assemble them together. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to take some twine. This is the twine from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to layer our herbs one on top of the other. We kind of want them all the same length. Now I'm using some oregano, rosemary, and chives for this particular bunch. You're going to want to tie this really tight because as these herbs dry and they shrink, that loop will become a little loose. So you can have something heavy to hold it down. What we're going to do now is we're going to braid it. We're gonna separate those herbs now that we put together and we're gonna make three different rows so that we can braid them together. So we're just gonna take them and braid them just like you would hair. And you have to be a little gentle. You don't wanna to pull too hard to pull them out of the place where you've tied them together and you don't want to break too many of the leaves off and it's okay to have some leaves that are kind of sticking out. I really like that look when the leaves are just kind of going everywhere. You're also going to want to tie off the end and then clip any strings so they're not showing. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to very slowly yeah, after we cut off the the other end you're going to want enough there to continue to tie but we're going to try to loop these two around and put them together now if you have any woody areas that are kind of hanging out like this you want to trim them and then you just want to slowly bend 
and gently work them so that you're happy with the way they look. You could cross the ends over so that little bit of loose leaf at the end covers the top. So then you're just going to take that extra string from the top and wind it over. Now I like the twine from the Dollar Tree that has the, the green because it kind of hides the color when it's mixed in with the greenery. So I really like that. But we're just gonna tie it off and then you will have created your first soup ring. Now I think this is really pretty just as it is, but you can totally go ahead and bend that into a soup ring also. And just kind of, again, play with the leaves and kind of make it flow and natural the way you want it to be. And you know, like I said, pull some of those leaves out very gently and just make it the way you would like it to be. And I think these are so precious and so cute. Now we're going to start on what I like to call the spa rings. And for these, you can make them a little longer, a little bigger, a little more attractive. We are using here some lemon verbena and some mint. Now with these spa rings, you can use them for decor. You could use them in your dresser drawer or just to hang on a mirror. And they are just really pretty and, really pretty and they smell so good as they're drying and you can use a variety of them. Um, we're gonna do a couple more here that I wanna show you. You can use them in your bathtub and you can let the shower or the bath water flow over them and release those oils into your bath. You can put these on a jar of Epsom salts and gift them. You can tie these to a package and make it gift wrap. So there's lots of things you can do with these, but come along with me and we're gonna make a few more of these, what I call spa rings. For this one, I am using eucalyptus and lavender, and I think I've put even a little piece of mint in there. So imagine how wonderful this smells. And this is great to use in your bath because in the wintertime, you know, we get allergies, we get stuffed up. Eucalyptus helps you breathe better and lavender helps you relax. So this is just a wonderful little combination and it is so pretty when it comes together. Let me know what you think. And how do you use a soup ring, you ask? Well, you simply drop it into your soup, let it simmer, 
and scoop it out when you're done. It is so yummy and delicious. Thanks for coming along and harvesting herbs with me today. And if you are going to make a herbal ring to gift or to add to your soup, please give a thumbs up. Better yet, follow me over on Instagram if you're not following me over there. It's just Bloomwell Home and Garden. Follow me over there and go ahead and post your ring and how you used yours and tag me in it. Just Bloomwell Home and Garden, like I said. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse.